Hello, we're answering questions on health and medical problems. I'm joined by Dr. Rosemary Leonard. Hello. Hello. Rosemary, uh, not uncommon question, a man who needs help with his snoring. Could have been his wife writing in actually, but it isn't. He says he've, he's tried many different remedies to reduce my snoring, but all to no avail is keeping my wife awake. It's not allowing me to have a full night's sleep. And because of this, we're both very tired during the day, he says. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Men do seem to snore a little bit more than women, though some women snore as well. Um, it's worse if you are overweight and you're carrying a lot of weight, particularly around your chin and your neck. The sound is actually caused by the mouth dropping open and the palate at the back of the mouth vibrating as, as the air goes over it. And somehow carrying a lot of weight around the chin seems to make that more likely to happen. The other thing that can make it more likely to happen is if you've got a bunged up nose. So that's why snoring is worse if you've got a cold. Mm -hmm. And it's also worse if you're lying on your back because your chin drops open. So one of the old fashioned remedies for this is to sew a ping pong ball in the back of your pajamas, if you wear such things, which stops you actually lying on your back. Because the classic way of dealing with a snoring partner is to prod them and make them turn Roll over. over. <laughs> make them turn over. And if you're on your side, often you then start breathing through your nose. You can get nasal strips from the chemist, which you put on your nose, and, this, and special clip things as well. Yes, what do those do? The, the idea is, is they're supposed to hold your nostrils open so that you breathe in through your nostrils and not through your mouth. So they're pulling the skin up and back, yeah, are they? Yeah, up and back, yes. But the other thing that's important about snoring, particularly in slightly older people, is it can be linked to a condition called sleep apnea, which is where you actually snore, then you stop breathing for a while, and then you suddenly take a big intake of breath and start breathing again. Now we know that those who have sleep apnea are more at risk of having high blood pressure and also more at risk of having heart disease. So it is important if, if for a partner you think that you can hear the, your bedfellow stopping breathing for a while in between their snoring that they go and seek medical help. Yes, as soon as possible. That's very good advice. Thank you, Rosemary. Well, if you have a similar problem, we hope we might have given you some help, but remember, it's always best to go and see your own doctor for medical advice. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with more health questions and answers.